Hey bro, hey, and it's me, George, and I am back with a another video. And today I'm going to be doing a little haul for you guys. It's been requested by popular demand. Shout out to Tiffy, because she was the first one to suggest it. Um, and it's something I thought about, but she definitely motivated to go ahead and do it. I am doing a haul of some of the things that I thrifted the other day in my previous video, which I will put the link in the description below. So don't forget to check that out. And I have my lovely, gorgeous Peridot here. Yes, I named my mannequin <laughs> Peridot. Um, she's gonna be modeling the clothes for you today. I am modeling this one piece. Ooh, well, it's not a one piece, but this one, but this one piece, this one shirt that I thrifted. This is one of my favorite things that I thrifted because it isn't just an oversized, nice little button up that you could dress up or dress down. It's sweet. <laughs> And I love that. It gives it texture. It gives it different dimensions of orange. You see the different tones and textures. Yes, I love that. And it just gives you that nice little clean look. I threw a little black tank top under it. Paired it with some mom jeans, a black belt. No necklace, just wanted to show clavicle and chest with some earrings and my little converse that I have got. Let me give you all the... Somebody talk to me. What's my name? Anyways, moving forward. All right, so we got some music in the background. Whatever. Don't forget to follow all my social medias. Instagram is black.oasis. The A is black is a V. And that's the same thing for Twitter, except that the dot is an underscore. Snapchat is GAD underscore three. Facebook is George Dorsey, that's George spelled the traditional way in Dorsey, D-O-R-S-E-Y. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, because if you don't like me now, you're going to like me later, so you might as well just like me now and like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. My lips is just as dry. Without further ado, let's get into it. So yeah, this is this is where I live. <laughs> oh my god! <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Yo, I can't. This is the first thing that I put on the mannequin here. Um, I thrifted both the white button up and um this blazer corduroy jacket sort of situation i really like it <clears throat> i love the brown and i just love corduroy corduroy is just so good for fall it's universal so that way you won't have to have too much and that's where i'm trying to go in life is to not have way too much in my closet um i've actually been getting rid of stuff tossing things um, I'll probably put a video about that 
up soon of my decluttering process because I just want to be more intentional with what comes into my closet with things I wear and wear purely thing all things that make me happy and all things that I want while keeping things down to a minimal not being a minimalist but just down to a minimal that I'm not overwhelmed with clothes that I have options but it's more of my style and I'm so happy I picked this up because I really love this great fall piece I could dress up dress down I could pair with jeans I could pair with pants I could pair with t-shirts I could pair with button-ups I just really love this jacket. It's giving me a nice 70s vibe too. Um, I've been real into the 70s lately. On to the next piece. All right, here's the next thing I wanted to show you guys. This is a lovely, like mustard yellow, slightly oversized button up that I thrifted. I did not thrift the black turtleneck. This is just something that I already had in my closet that I just wanted to pair with it just to see how I would wear it. This is just to show you guys one of the ways that I think I would wear it with just a nice black turtleneck under with this over on one of those days where it's just a little breezy. Maybe it starts to get a little cold, but you don't exactly want to put on a whole jacket or a coat. You could just throw on a nice thick knitted turtleneck and throw this over. I think that's a real cute look. And you could pair this with jeans or a pair of pants, whatever. Pants that are slim fit, pants that are wide leg. I'm real into wide leg, oversized things and some things that are slim fit. I might slowly start straying away from skinny jeans. Not sure yet, I still do have a couple pairs of skinny jeans, so we'll see how that goes. And I'll pair it with a black patent leather boot or maybe a pair of tan boots that I have maybe. <clears throat> I don't know, I have options of what I would pair this with. I think this is one of those things that carries well from fall, spring, you wear this in the summer, um, during those warmer months you could wear it with nothing under, like no shirt under, you could wear it open with a white beater under, like I'm doing this one, but wear it open, buttoned all the way down, just have it flow. I'm glad I picked it up, I'm glad I found it first, so I'm happy that I got this. Alright, on to the next thing. Alrighty, so here is the next set of things that I picked up from the thrift store. It's this lovely, I want to say pecan brown button up, slightly oversized. Um, I want to say fairly close to this one in oversized. That I just love the color of. I think it just goes so good with my skin. I'm loving the way like brown, oranges, yellows are going with my skin as of lately. So I'm really trying to explore that because I really think those are just the things I want to go for this fall in just different tones of neutrals, like greens, tans, things like that. So I just really want to go all in this fall and just see if I can really play with those colors. Oh, I love this tobacco brown corduroy coat, this corduroy jacket. I love it. I love it. I love it. It has a nice thickness to it. The lining is really nice has pockets in the inside, it has nice pockets here, and it has like a little waistband in it, kind of, sort of, and it has drawstrings, so if you want to cinch, cinch the waist a little bit more, you could probably give a monochromatic type of look. I'm so happy I picked this up for an inexpensive price. I'm telling you guys, shop quality, but you don't always have to spend dollars upon dollars on quality clothes there's good quality clothes out there if you just look and you don't really have to pay that much for it like going thrifting people always like to judge thrifting but people just have good stuff that they just don't want anymore they find no more use for it so they put it somewhere for somebody else to pick it up y'all didn't listen to michael moore when he said i'm gonna pop some tags only got twenty dollars in my pocket what Y'all better listen, and I sure did. On to the next thing. All right, you guys, so next thing I got is one of my faves. It's this leather coat that I got from thrifting. I did not get the blue shirt from thrifting. This is just something I already had in my closet. This is just one of the ways that I think I would pair 
this coat with. I think it's a nice combo. I love the way the blue and the tan just goes together. And then the detailing of the little brown buttons that complement the brown in the coat. I just love it and I love the inlining of this coat so much. This is literally one of my favorite parts of the coat even though it's just the inside. I just love this inlining. And it's good quality. It, I just love these vintage looks. I just love things that just come from an earlier time period. And you can tell it has a little wear to it, but I like that. I like the character that it has. So that's why I was just so quick that I was so on this. I was with it when I saw it. I just love this coat. It gives me granddad vibes. It gives me dad vibes and I love it. This is a really good coat for fall. I think it's a really good coat for winter too because it is pretty heavy duty. I really believe you could put this on during the winter if you just throw through on um, a hoodie or a sweater or turtleneck under it and just zipped it up. I think you'd be perfectly fine with this for the winter too because it's pretty heavy duty, but it's good for fall too. During the fall, I'll be wearing, wearing it open most times. So yeah, excited for this. Now on to the next thing. All right, you guys, here is the last item. Ooh, nope, I lied, it's not the last item, but here, is one of the last um pieces of outerwear that i'm showing you that i thrifted it is a i want to say like a a sleek color it's a really desaturated green color it's like a desaturated olive green type of situation grayish green situation going on i don't know it depends on what you pair it with i paired it with this l with this elm green turtleneck, so I guess that's what's making the green in it pop out more. But hey, but I really love this. This is a trench coat, so it hits it hits down to I want to say the back of my ankles around my calf area. I tried it on. Uh oh, I'll lift her up if you want to see. Yeah, she's long, so. When I walk in, it gives a nice flow. It gives a flap. I know you hear some people yelling in the black, back in the black. Yep, black people yelling in the back. That's what you hear. I would wear this in both fall and winter. I actually just wore this uh, a couple days ago. Um, I paired it with my half and half crop buttoned up with some khakis that I also thrifted. I got a dark and a light pair of khakis. I could actually show you guys those now while I'm talking about them. Yeah, I just got a light pair of nice straight leg khakis. And what I like about these is they are such, they're, these are nicely made. They fit around my waist really fairly well. Um, I say they could fit a little better, but nothing that a little belt won't fit. So when I put the belt on, it's not like it scrunches up and it fits the way it's supposed to really light on the legs i love the way they're made it's not like a really heavy pair of khakis the lining is amazing a darker pair of khakis i really like these two these fit me a lot better these are actually american eagle and you know american eagle is really good for making well fitted pants and jeans and stuff like that so yeah i love the way these fit they fit nice around the bootay these make my butt look real nice so i'm really happy with these I actually have one more item I need to show you. Give me one second. All right, all right, you guys. So this is the final thing I want to show you guys. It's this little vest. It's so, so, so cute. I love this vest. I love the way it fits on me. I love how structured it is. I love the pattern. I love the black and white. I love the chicness of it. I love that it's chic, but at the same time fun with its pattern. And I love how you could dress it up, dress it down once again. You could do it with jeans, you could do it with pants, you could throw on some um you could throw on a boot with a with a heel, or you could just throw on some heels, or depending on how you dress it, you can even throw some sneakers with it. Hey, who knows? And this is one of the ways I would wear it. I would put um this white button up on again and I would just throw this over it. I just think it's such a cute look. You could probably leave the shirt untucked 
and throw a pair of pants under it or tuck the shirt and have, you know make sure it's high, a pair of high waist pants put the belt on and just throw the vest, vest on and have the waistline of the pants and the hemline of the vest meet and I think it's just such a cute look with a boot so yeah that this is probably going to be the first way that I would wear this vest I'm so in love with it I'm excited to wear it I'm probably going to wear it a little bit this fall it'll probably I'll probably be wearing it during the winter too I don't know can I throw this on over some sweaters who knows but it's going to be fun to find out if it will look good you know and that's the thing we love about fashion it's your fashion have fun with it experiment just make sure you like it and it looks good on you on to the story so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys got some fashion ideas from this video i hope you guys are excited to thrift i hope i inspired somebody out there to go thrifting and save a little coin on some clothes because you can get some really good stuff thrifting and i was taught that some years ago by tiff when she exposed me to thrifting and it really changed my life i learned that certain things i can just always get from thrifting nine times out of ten I can just always count on thrifting, you know, because I am a baddie on a budget. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know which one of these things that I showed you was your favorite. Let me know which outfit you saw was your favorite. And um, give me some outfit suggestions. I'm always open to hear suggestions. Uh, let me know what you guys are wearing for this fall. Let me know what you guys are doing to your closet. Let me know. Let me know what you're decluttering. Let me know what you're bringing into your closet. Just let me know. Let's talk about it. Let's talk fashion. Always remember that happiness equals success, not the other way around. And always, always remember that you are fucking magical. Bye.